Well, hello, everybody. It's me, Sans, uh, uh, Wasteland Tycoon outfit today. Uh, I don't know. I like getting get dressed up, but you know what? I like just being myself, too. Uh, I like just uh, being me. Uh, it's a lot of fun uh, dressing up and doing that silly cosplay stuff. You know what? Embrace the awkward, right? Embrace the awkward. Embrace uh, fun stuff like that. If you like doing cosplay, if you like getting dressed up for Renaissance fairs or LARPing or, you know, whatever, just because it's a, you know, whatever today is, just because it's a Wednesday now, uh, or Tuesday into Wednesday, uh, go for it. Or is it Wednesday into, it's Wednesday, it's Tuesday into Wednesday. So sometimes I don't know what day it is, I'm just constantly going all the time. Uh, wow, a uh, lot of work today, man. I was working like a boss, knocking out stuff left and right today. Feel pretty good, feel pretty good. Uh, so, uh, we're going to play a little bit of 76. I need to get in and, you know, and clear my stuff and make a little money and that stuff. But hidden behind my current launch is, uh, for the last 30 minutes, uh, I've been sitting in queue, uh, for WoW Classic. So we're definitely going to get in there. We're going to have some fun doing that as well. So don't worry, everybody. We're going to have lots of fun tonight, but you know how, you know, you only got, you only get so many caps per day and you only get so many legendary stuff per day. So we want to make sure we cycle that in uh, a bit, uh, just to get that done. Uh, oh, something going on with my feed over here. Let me press some buttons. There we go. And if you notice, there's something might be missing from my, uh, my screen over here. I don't need to tell you guys that we're trying to get my mods at TwitchCon because it's locked in. It's ready to go. It's unlocked. Achievement unlocked, everybody. Uh, so it's all gone. Uh, loot drops are over. That's it. Where you landed is where you landed. Uh, and uh, congrats. I think it's Dragon PC uh, who's going to get that uh, bag. Congratulations to Dragon PC. Uh, and uh, all the other peeps who did donate, thank you so much uh, for that. Uh, and all of you still waiting on your loot drops, don't worry, be patient. Uh, I'm not going to tell you when they arrive, even though I have the tracking numbers for every single one of them. Believe me, I'm the one who packaged every single one and then taped them up, put your name on them, uh, and sent them to you. Uh, so be very, very patient, everybody. Uh, they will eventually make their way to you. Uh, that cost me an absolute fortune. I was glancing at how much that cost me. Uh, that cost me in the neighborhood of $700 to send those out. Uh, yep. Uh, I stopped looking after I caught to about 700 and I'm like, ah, uh, okay. I stopped looking at this. This is just gonna, this is gonna bum you out. <laughs> just to ship that was $700. Some of that stuff went to Australia, which is $75 and a hundred dollars and all of this. Uh, and Austria and some places went over there. So very, very expensive to do that. And on top of the cost of all of that was exceedingly massive. Uh, but you know what? When you do something for the first time, uh, you have to just go for it, right? And, you know, you go for it. You see how it works out. Uh, it, that was a huge loss for me. I almost bankrupt me uh, last year. So this year I'm going to be much smarter about that. Uh, but I learned my lessons, right? No, sometimes you learn lessons the easy way if you have experience or if you have background. Uh, and sometimes what you got to do is just try and see what happens. And if you fail and you have failures along the way, as long as that failure leads to success eventually, then there you go. And that's what I did. I did a lot of failures that led to success. Uh, and you guys made out like a bandit, man. <laughs> you guys made out like a bandit, but then again, uh, that's what I love to do. I love to do kind things for other th other people, and of course, did kind things for my mods uh, as well. Uh, it probably the, the amount uh, that I raised it probably cost me three to four times the cost of what I raised to, to take my mods to TwitchCon than it actually cost me uh, beyond beyond the cost. By the way, beyond the cost of my getting my mods to TwitchCon. By the way, that's above and beyond the cost three at least three times. Uh, yeah, it was a lot. It was a lot, a lot. Uh, so I was looking at the numbers of that and I said, you know what? Screw it. <laughs> Screw it. Let's just do this, baby. Let's just do this anyway. Cause you know what? What else do I got to do? Right? Lay down and die. I don't think so. Get up and have some fun, play some games, do some kind things for other people that they'll never forget. That's the, what I try to do in my stream. Try to bring you a little positivity, uh, in your day. Thank you so much. I know I need FedEx. That's his response. Hey, you know somebody at FedEx high up? You let me know. <laughs> uh, they just lost uh, Amazon, so they're probably looking. They're probably looking for people to, you know, use their service. Because <laughs> Amazon's making their own delivery service now. 
so yeah, you know, some sponsors for shipping. I, I would, uh, I would take it in a minute. Uh, yeah, I have, uh, I've tried to contact before. They're just a gigantic conglomerate. They don't, they don't care about the little guy. Uh, unless someone's watching who works at, uh, you know, UPS, FedEx, uh, DHL, uh, the post office and knows somebody who wants to contact me, uh, have them email me. Feel free to go ahead. Feel free to go ahead. I would love to have that kind of sponsor. It would save me so much. Uh, but yeah, and then I had to rebuy all those, uh, candy bars too, because I felt like they've been, you know, I've been at them in the, I have them in the fridge, so they probably are fine. Uh, I've had, I tried one. They were good, you know, a while ago. Uh, they were still good, but I didn't feel, I didn't feel like it was a good idea to send those out. So I rebought all the candy. Uh, and I sent everybody extra candy this year too. Uh, normally, you know, in the loot drop, you get three little Kismet minis, right? Uh, no, not this year. Uh, not this year. Everybody got an upgrade. Everybody got a next level thing. Everybody got an extra this, that, and the other thing. Uh, and don't expect that this year though. That, that just nearly bankrupted me. I mean, I had, I had gone over and then I had to use my personal, uh, personal accounts, which is the food that my children eat. <laughs> uh, way, way over. Uh, so, uh, I've been spending the entire year, uh, trying to recover from that. Uh, and still probably won't recover now for the next year or, or year or two uh, from that as well. So very, very difficult, but you know, it's an uphill climb and I learned a lot of stuff. I'm like the shipping master now. Uh, I learned all about fulfillment and how people suck <laughs> and they take forever and they never get back to you and they say, oh, I'm going to do this thing. And then, you know, a day goes by, a week goes by, two weeks, a month. And you're like, where is it? Come on, come on. You know, I'm, my peeps are waiting. My peeps are waiting. I want to send it out. Uh, and they just drag in their feet and they say, oh, we'll get to you. We'll get it to you. We'll get to you. And they never do. I had to, I had to move on to other people. Uh, and then eventually move on to do it myself. So I feel like we got like another couple weeks uh, of people getting their stuff. Uh, and then we'll have like a loot box night uh, where I show you guys all the loot drops that I sent out. And just basically the scale at sending that out is so tremendous. Uh, because you got to think of the scale of getting all of those things produced and the cost of getting those produced. Those are not all sponsored. They're, you know, like the candy bars, uh, those are partially sponsored, and then I buy some of those. Uh, the stickers uh, are like a reduced, like 10, 20% off or 30% off, and so on. Those are like reduced costs. Those are just not free. Those cost me a lot, a lot of money. Uh, a lot, a lot of money uh, to make that happen. So uh, enjoy those big time. Now, remember, all of that was, all your donations are going toward getting my mods at TwitchCon. That's what it is. 100% of what you donated goes to my mods, except for the PayPal fees, but I cover those PayPal fees. So, and when you donate, know that when you donate a dollar, 30% of that or more goes to PayPal, right? So, really, you're donating like 70 cents, or really, it's 67 cents, something like that. Uh, and, of course, the more you donate, the more that PayPal fee kind of balances out. But uh, know that a lot of that also I make up on my end. And then, you know, there's additional costs and that kind of stuff. So know that all of that stuff uh, is very uh, comes from a very hard work in Kismet right here. Uh, all right. So let's play some games. But first, let's say hello to my Epic Mods. Speaking of my Epic Mods, uh, who I've spent over 600 hours raising funds to get them to TwitchCon this year. Uh, it's going to be super fun. It's going to be worth it, uh, I hope. <laughs> I'm, uh, I am a little bit exhausted, but I actually been getting rest for the last few days uh, after the stress of all of that and all the loose drops finally went out, so all the stress of that is over. <sighs> oh my gosh. That was a lot of stress for a very long time. Uh, but I'm feeling better now, and you can see it in my face because I'm losing weight. I'm feeling better. I'm taking better care of myself. Uh, been juicing, uh, been doing a lot of things here in the stream. Uh, and it's all thanks to all of you. All thanks to all of you. So be watching your mailbox, uh, from a little, a little bit of extra love from me. Cause I upgraded pretty much every single per, or no, every, I did every single person's. I upgrade every single one of your loot drops in some way. I added extra chocolate. I added extra things. I threw an extra TwitchCon thing in there. Uh, people who didn't even, uh, weren't even at a level of getting pins. They got pins. Uh, people who weren't even at a, uh, those higher levels, I threw some extra stuff in there. Uh, so know that uh, that I uh, did go above and beyond. And it really almost cost me my health. It was so stressful. Uh, but I'm glad that it's over. 
<laughs> and thank you so much, Destin, uh, for that uh, thing. Of course, now I need to go right on to the 2019 loot drops, but we'll get into that. <laughs> we'll get into that. And that will be, now again, it'll be, you know, end of year, December, maybe January. Uh, I'm going to push that back even a little more because uh, give myself some time. But now I've got really exceptional people working on it now, uh, which is great, including myself, which I work very hard on those loot drops. I can't wait to show you that video. Uh, that video is 99% done, as well as we'll have a whole night where I just talk about loot drops and all the failures that happen and then the successes that we had as well. Uh, so let's get into, uh, again, say hello to my mods. Let's see, who's uh, on mod uh, thing? They didn't put it in my chat this time. Let me look in the other chat here. Uh, let's see, Scorch Dragon and Nooshki here at the top of the stream. Uh, and then later on, uh, you'll get to meet both of them at TwitchCon because we unlocked that. Uh, and then Jessamy and Game Killer uh, coming in later, who I wish could go. Ooh, I wish I could take them too. Uh, but they got real life stuff to do and, you know, all that kind of, you know, got to work and, you know, take care of families and stuff. Okay. <laughs> I love to take them all, you know. Uh, that's how I am. And of course, I ordered uh, custom t-shirts for all my mods. You'll be able to see them. Uh, let's see, where is my custom t-shirts? Do I have them here? No, I have them on my next screen. Next screen. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be playing some uh, 76 here. Let's see who's in the chat tonight. Uh, let's see, Buckman's first one I see in the chat today. Give him a thousand kiss caps. Uh, I see Nooshki of Scorch Dragon hanging out. We got Buckman's coming in. Uh, saying, doing all right. All right, just got done with deployment uh, call I had uh, for work. Uh, so I'm free to relax. Well, come on in and relax, Buck Miss. You know you're always welcome in here. We love it when you're hanging out here in the channel. Appreciate you being here. Uh, the wonderful Raz. Oh, man, I'm I, I'm chomping at the bit for Raz to get her uh, thing. By the way, uh, I left you an ex I There's a few people. You'll see it when I review the loot drops. There's a few people who have gone above and beyond here in the stream, uh, and I gave them an extra note. And some extra stuff. Uh, Raz is one of those people. So look for your extra note, Raz, and your extra stuff, and make sure to share. All right, share, share with people that you love. Uh, there you go. Uh, live ghost coming in saying hello, hello. I should have a monocle when I say that. Hello. <laughs> uh, thanks for being here, guys. Uh, the game of skulls coming in. I see you in the chat. Oh, God, I, get, I love this part of the stream, right? This is this should be the whole stream. Uh, H2O coming in, saying hello, uh, hanging out. We made it. Thank God we made it. Uh, very Perry Bomb coming in. Oh, another soundbite idea. Put that in my game, or my uh, kids' reminders. Uh, thank God we made it soundbite. That's a good one. Uh, H2O, squirrel. Oh, I'm totally squirrel. Uh, great timing. Got home from work, Kesman. Kesman's on. Whoop, whoop. Well, great to see you in the sack, man. Thanks for coming in. By the way, if I owe you a game code or whatnot, uh, know that I have not forgotten you. Uh, I have all that stuff on a list, and I just go down every single day and try to get as much as I can. And I literally have a list of a thousand things. I'm, I'm not kidding either. They are a thousand long. But I, I have to prioritize what's the most important thing, like removing all of that stuff off of my uh, panels. Notice that my panels have now been restored to normal. Uh, all the stuff for TwitchCon and all that stuff is no longer on there. Uh, again, congrats to Dragon PC, uh, who was my uh, top donator. Uh, congratulations! Who's going to get that epic, uh, or epic bag that you can't even get the uh, the Fallout 76 influencer bag? Uh, congratulations! I'm a, I'm still sad that I part with that. Right? I really like it. That was an incredibly awesome bag, but. You know what? On behalf of my mods, you know, I got it from, you know, Bethesda and I got it from TwitchCon and I thought, well, you know what? Pay it forward. Pay it forward to my mods. Uh, Anarchy Burger coming in as well. Always great to see. Uh, thanks for being here. And of course, a uh, big donator as well. Uh, appreciate all that love as well. I think Anarchy Burger was number two. I Don't quote me, though. I have to do, look at the final stats. Uh, but I think Annie Burger is getting the all over backpack. So congratulations on that. I love that one as well. That is a one of a kind custom backpack that they sent to me. Uh, pretty awesome. Mythic is coming in. Uh, I should be looking for that uh, loot drop as well. Uh, Destin coming in as well. Thank you so much, Destin, uh, for the host and hanging out in the stream. Appreciate it. Uh, don't mind us raiding. Uh, Mythic is thanks for being here. Uh, have a good night as well. Awesome to see some more. No man's sky from yourself. Uh, there you go. Uh, take it easy. Take it easy if you guys are running. Uh, there you go. See, if you catch me in my startup screen, none of my alerts go on my startup screen because it interrupts when I'm saying hello to everybody. So, 
Uh, there we go. But we're having a fun time in Classic. Uh, so if you guys want to join us in Classic, feel free to let me know. Uh, the Guild has created the Kismet BP once again in WoW Classic. We got on done on the first day, man. I thought that was going to take forever. I thought it was going to take three or four days at least to build up the cash. But no, my peeps... Rock, it's rock started, man. Uh, and then we have the Founding Nine. Uh, the Founding Nine of uh, Wild Classic Guild, which is pretty cool. Uh, good evening, T-Sandy. Thanks for being here. Si, I'm coming in, saying hello. Uh, welcome, welcome. Uh, I can't wait to see that loot box video. I hear more hype about uh, it than pre-launch No Man's Sky, right? Oh, man. It was, uh, it was supposed to be a short project, and it turned into a, a long, illustrious nightmare uh, for me. I mean, it... It has really taken a toll on me. I'm I I am just exhausted at this point uh, from doing that. Uh, but don't worry, the the new one not going to be at the same scale as the one last year. It's going to be much smaller because that just that just was way beyond what I raised uh, to take my mods to TwitchCon, but uh, higher quality. So there you go. Because I'm I got some really awesome people working on it now. Uh, wait till you see the special thing that all of you are going to get this year uh, that I have not disclosed to anybody, uh, which uh, is fairly expensive, but it's a higher quality. So some of the stuff that I tried last year, I'm going to just go, you know what? This is going to be the thing. This is going to be the thing and consider it a special uh, thing for me because uh, it costs a fortune as well. Uh, that's high, uh, title to beat, uh, with, uh, NC Zone, what, uh, Wit Digger's Chocolate, uh, but worthy of Try the Kismet Candy Bar. There you go. And again, they'll also be giving out stuff at TwitchCon, uh, so I'll be giving out thousands of candy bars and hopefully free desserts. We'll see. Uh, those people, I, I, there's another person who doesn't call me back. Uh, I have to call them back. You know, I hate it when I have to call them back. I say, okay, when you got it all squared away, follow up with me and let me know. Okay. Never calls me back. Uh, annoying uh, when people don't follow up, right? Uh, there we go. Uh, who else uh, in the chat? Anybody else? That's it? All right, come on. Let's get into it. Kesma, too much talking. Let's do some more gaming. Let's go. All right. All right. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. All right, so they added some cool stuff. Uh, here's some stuff that's leaving soon uh, from the thing. Vault 94, which we have a lot of fun in. Uh, we're not going to do any Vault 94 today. Uh, that's good. I think we're going to do we're going to do that mainly on the weekends uh, for Vault 94 because uh, it it is a real big a long adventure. So we'll do that then. Here's the interesting thing that I was looking at here. I want to check that out in the store. Uh, and then, of course, some more uh, uh, Patch 12 uh, kind of Atomic Shop update stuff. Uh, so let's take a look at that real quick. Get rid of those game sounds right now. Uh, there we go. Uh, small vault Tech uh, prototype generator. Uh, that's interesting. I wonder if that actually is an item or if it's just a visual thing. Uh, vault 76 staircase. Uh, I wonder if they're going to come out with a whole entire uh, thing. You know, I that's one of the things that I really disliked. I'm kind of blocking it. Uh, the Vault 76 staircase there... Uh, from Fallout 4 is really obnoxious because the way that it snaps, uh, it snaps terribly. Uh, the vault Tech is probably one of the hardest uh, uh, kits in Fallout 4 to use because the way that it snaps and the way that it works is horrible. Uh, it's, uh, it's like you try to snap the stairs in there, but it doesn't snap to each other. It doesn't snap to the thing. It does. You can't go down. You got to go up from it. And you got to have a base that does the thing. Go watch my videos on, on how to use that correctly. Uh, now, of course, the thing we're always looking for is the Big Fat Free. Uh, I don't see any Big Fat Free in there. Uh, let's see here. Vault, uh, Vault Boy 2000 Desk Lamp. Is this Vault Boy 2000? Apparently it is. Future Tech Bundle. Let's see. Is that everything? I always look at the bundles. I feel like the bundles are, are the deal. Oh, it's like a plushie. That's cool. Cool, cool. Uh, very cool. All right, let's see if there's, uh, anything on sale. Uh, where's our stuff? Any free stuff? Did you, have you guys seen any free stuff? If you have, uh, let me know in the chat, uh, and I'll point it out to everybody. I don't see anything off the bat that says big free. I'm, I'm easy at detecting free. You know, I'm just, I'm just glancing through. All right, well, yeah, that's okay. Uh, I don't know. It's all Vault 94 stuff. I do love the Vault Tech stuff. Uh, I would say the coolest thing in here, of course, Vault Tech uh, 
armor and of course this generator looks really super cool that looks cool everything else eh I don't know. Not too exciting. Uh, not too exciting. But let's get in game. We're going to do, again, just a little bit of 76 here. We're going to get in. We're going we're gonna to do the stuff. Uh, and then we're going to have some fun uh, playing some WoW Classic. Uh, we're going to go heavy WoW Classic this week as we uh, work our characters up and work with uh, members and whatnot. Uh, and I'll also be updating, by the way, uh, all the member information. Like, you know, uh, everybody can invite. But, of course, make sure that they follow our virtues. Honor, loyalty, and respect. Uh, they put our guild first before all other guilds. Uh, so if they're going to be in multiple guilds, know that they need to participate in ours first. Uh, if they don't feel like they can participate or spend the bulk of their time in our guild, then they should not join uh, because uh, I will eventually boot them for inactivity, uh, which uh, can kill a guild if their people are too inactive because then people log in, there's nobody on, that kind of stuff. Uh, so know that is an important thing to be part of the guild. Uh, so let's see, a whole bunch of Atomic Shop stuff. So we got limited time offers. I'm just looking at this update here. Uh, there's some new uh, items. Oh, and that's about it. Oh, that's it. Oh, okay. I, I, I was pretty much what we saw is what the update was. Uh, all right. Uh, we'll go with that. Uh, and again, thanks for being here. You like the 2000 guy? Yeah, he looks okay. Uh, lurk to hocked on to WoW. Uh, yeah, actually, I got WoW in the background right now in queue. I don't know what number I am now. It was like a 30-minute queue. Uh, but let's go in here and let's see, uh, what's going on, uh, in here. Uh, and it might kick me out eventually if I may have K on that page too much. And then we might do it all over again. We'll see. We'll check in on it. The only problem is when I, when I switch out of 76, I lose my sound. Uh, so I try not to switch out if I don't have to. I mean, I can go into windowed mode, but I'll lose my sound uh, in the entire game. Uh, so one of the drawbacks of it over here. Uh, let's see, Medic. You know what? I'm not going to use this cryo later. You know what? Let's just get rid of it. Get rid of it. All right. Well, hey, hey I, we finally got to a point where we got rid of some of these legendaries. Now we can have some room back uh, in our inventory just in time to go get some more. Uh, let's get rid of these things in the trader. Uh, what do we got? I don't think we have that much actually to trade out. Uh, let's go check our stash. I think we da we put a bunch of we dashed a whole bunch of stuff in our stash. Uh, let's see. We don't need carrots. Going funky. Oh yeah, I feel like we gotta see. Here's the here's the point right now where having a separate stash of stuff. Uh, like in Fallout 4, because, you know, you can have multiple storage containers that you can, you know, take stuff like bobbleheads and that stuff and put it all in a separate thing so I don't have to go through it every single time I go into my inventory. Uh, that is a little bit annoying uh, that I have to do that. Uh, I kind of miss that ability to kind of offset all of that extra stuff, you know, stuff you're saving for long term. Stuff like that. I feel like it's a huge uh, opportunity missed that the fact that they didn't uh, give us that ability. Uh, and a lot of this stuff's just going to go bad. So we're going to try to take it out of here. Just it slides up like that. I hate it when it slides up. Slide up in a way that I want you to slide up. Look at that. We're all, we're all out of step packs too. Scary. Scary. Uh, Tesla Science. And again, we're saving a whole bunch of stuff to put it in our cosmetic stuff. We still haven't got around to cosmetic stuff. We'll get around to it. Uh, I don't feel like doing any of this today. So we're not going to do that today. How are we doing on ammo? Uh, let's see. Oh, and I'll go say hello to Jeff as well. See how Jeff's doing. Hey, Jeff. How you doing? Uh, okay. Leveling up a hunter to, so we don't have too many warriors. Oh, well, there you go. There you go. Well, hey, I always like to hunt with a hunter, buddy, because uh, you can make us all run fast. <laughs> I don't. I like running as fast as I can in games. Uh, all right, so we got that going on. We're going in here. So again, we're going to go pretty light on... There's a, there's a buggy in front of me. Get that out of there. Get that away from my place. I knocked it right back. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right, so let's get in there again. Pretty light on 76 uh, today uh, to get that uh, deal going on. All right, so we got all of our crafting going there. Uh, modify, repair. Uh, let's see, shotgun. Uh, again, we got to get all our, our kind of like dailies. Like, Keswit, you know, what are your dailies in game? You know, micromanaging my stuff is my daily in the game every time. Uh, I got to micromanage all this stuff. 
Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and craft up a lot of this. Uh, there we go. We have a, oh, we don't have enough plastic. That's okay. That's okay. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to build up a bunch of stuff for raiding, right? So we're trying to build up all of this loot, uh, sell a lot of caps, uh, worth of stuff so that we can go ahead, uh, make a little bit of money, a little bit of cashola so that we can buy stuff, uh, for raiding, uh, glowing fungus to sell that. Oh, we should have our great mantats on. Uh, we got it. We might as well use it. Uh, great mentats. There we go. And uh, speaking of, do we have our uh, hard bargain? We do. All right. Awesome. Actually, uh, I'm actually uh, being smart today. So I, for I forget sometimes to use my hard bargain. All right. All the rest of this stuff got to go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And you're like, Kismet, you're purified water. Yep. Bye-bye. Uh, we'll keep that for right now. And uh, Stimpak diluted. Get rid of that. Tatoes. Uh, Mirelurk meat. There we go. Made about 400 plus caps just right there in that uh, little bit. Uh, and this is this is actually going to last for a little bit longer. So we're going to keep that. Uh, and run over here. I guess we can turn our game sounds on. Uh, run over here uh, and get more loot. Uh, oh, this didn't respawn yet. And run along here. I just hit E a whole lot when I'm running along here, so I'm gonna do it. Oh yeah, all that stuff still got, still got time to go. I like how I got these uh, little wood things laying around. Uh, free loot. Get our purified water. Oh okay. That's because oh that just popped in there, and some purified water there to get us going. Uh, now we're gonna go ahead and use some of this food uh, and water. And there we go. All right, we're ready to rock today. Uh, ready to go get going. Uh, and then we're gonna just do some uh, cash runs. This uh, just some smaller cash runs, not big ones. Uh, is Twitter actually used a lot? I don't think I know anyone that has a Twitter account. Oh yeah, lots of people use Twitter. Uh, millions of people, as a matter of fact, uh, millions of them. Uh, Posh coming is Kismet. There's a free icon under the leaving soon uh, in the featured section of the Atomic Shop. Oh, let's go look. Let's go look. All right, let's take a look here. Uh, and again, thank you so much. Let me replay that uh, from Destin. Thank you so much, Destin, uh, for coming in uh, with the host earlier. Appreciate that. Uh, Atomic Shop. We got to go M, Z, and Atomic Shop. Uh, and you said it was uh, under Leaving Soon. Leaving Soon. What the heck is leaving soon? Vaulting atomic sale. Oh, right here. The, oh, it's the question mark. Oh, yeah, it's under atomic sale. Right here. Uh, I don't know if I even want that one, but okay. Very cool. It's free. Uh, so, yeah, Escape Artist uh, is free. Uh, I, I must have missed it. Let's see if there's anything else. All right, uh, give uh, Pasha a thousand kids caps uh, for uh, finding that free item. If you find more free items, let me know and I'll uh, let people know. Uh, yeah, all right, and uh, again, we'll get back into it. And we're just going to do my cash run uh, that I like to do, you know, make another uh, bunch of caps. So let's go ahead and take our pick locking off. And we're going to do this as a speed run, right? We're going to see if we can do it as fast as we possibly can to try to get it going on. Uh, and then we're going to sweep by some places that we know... Uh, gives us lots of cash. Right now, I need lots of stem packs. We want to keep that going. Uh, don't really need this one. We're going to go green thumb. We're going to listen for bobbleheads and that. Uh, over here, we're going to go ahead and let our gunsmith do its thing. And then uh, over here, we're going to go ahead and do our uh, adrenaline. All right, looking good. Uh, there we go. And how are we looking on our, uh, weight? Not bad. Not bad. I feel like we can go over here. We can drop some of this, uh, spoiled stuff. We'll drop it over here to the side. Uh, so when it comes to spoiled vegetables and whatnot, I usually drop these, uh, off to the side, not in front of the vendor or whatnot. Uh, so that, uh, you know, if people want it, they can take it and turn it into fertilizer if they want. Uh, but it's not in the way. Uh, of them. Uh, the things I usually drop in here is going to be uh, things like uh, ammo or patterns. Uh, actually, oh, we forgot to look for patterns. We didn't have any. All right. We used them all up. Uh, let's go ahead and start by dropping this too. So we'll, we'll drop some 308. 
and we'll wait until we see it at our feet. There we go. Uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, transfer all of this uh, extra stuff. Bye-bye. Uh, let's see. What am I keeping for my peeps? Some 50 cal. Uh, let's keep some 5.56 five, and some 5 millimeter. Cryo cell. Get rid of all that. Plasma cartridge. Uh, and there we go. And then we'll put the rest of this away. Uh, I'm going to start storing up. Oh my gosh, the huge storm just, uh, I just heard a whole bunch of thunder. A whole bunch of scary thunder outside. Awesome. Well, if I suddenly disappear, you'll know why. A uh, giant storm coming in. Uh, there you go. There is a lurk command. Exclamation lurk. Uh, my night was awesome. Just woke up because the GF got to go to the work soon. Ah, well, thanks for being here, Spassman. Appreciate you coming in. Uh, always uh, wake to send her off. Ah, there you go. Uh, wake up to send the girlfriend off. That's that's how you do it, bro. That's how you do it. Take care of those ladies. Treat them with respect. Uh, that's what I do. Hey, work for me. 26 years. Still together. Still together with my wife and she puts up with my craziness. All right, let's make that cash run. Let's go, 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 go. All right, we're going to just go uh, full speed today. Full speed today. Uh, there you go, uh, Porsche. Uh, thank you so much uh, for that eagle eye uh, in the atomic shop. Appreciate it. Uh, and again, I feel like my sounds are low today. What is going on? Uh, oh, by the way, sorry I was late a little bit there. Uh, thank you uh, to uh, OBS for updating literally right before the stream. Uh, and I was like, oh, okay, uh, just feel free to go ahead and just, just update yourself. There we go. I'll just, uh, you know, I'll just run a little bit long on starting my stream then. <laughs> uh, such is the way it goes. All right, of course, the easiest way to make cash uh, is not blast people, is not do it. Of course, it doesn't cost you any ammo, it doesn't cost you a thing. Uh, other than a little bit of your time, you run around, you grab all this corn right now. We're going to make about 100 caps in a few minutes here uh, just by grabbing all this random corn. And I like to, uh, I like to, you know, get real good return on my uh, time invested. And if you want to make just easy caps, this is the way to do it. Now, of course, I have my green thumb uh, perk on right now, so I'm getting double of all of this, like so. And then uh, run it around. I've been doing this uh, for a while since I was low level, since I discovered this area. Uh, I feel it's like the, the easiest way to make caps. It's absolutely the easiest way. Uh, it requires no cash. It requires no battle. It's just literally just run around, press E a whole lot, and then sell it to the vendor. You don't even need to make it into anything. Though, uh, I'm feeling now that you, what you want to do is you want to make it into stuff uh, because you can have your super duper, right? So when you make it into stuff, you'll, uh, uh, you're going to get that uh, bonus stuff. Oops. You have explosive shotgun. Don't shoot up close. Not a smart idea. Get out the axe. Anybody else? <laughs> nope. Uh, all right. You're like, Kesma, did you mean to jump down? Nope. I just fell down. Oh, look, somebody's already been here. Cleaned out, cleaned house here. So again, I come in here, grab a bunch of loot. Uh, and I'm just going to grab everything just to go real, real fast. Uh, because I don't... Uh, oh, yeah, someone's coming in here looting. Right. Nice, nice. Uh, oh, didn't get those shotgun shells. I could use those. Uh, thanks to uh, them for opening that safe, though. Appreciate that. Uh, I come through and I sweep through there because there's plastic in there. Uh, you want to get you want to get a good plastic spot because I'm constantly looking for plastic. Catch me if you can, suckers. Oh yeah, all nice and cleaned out in here. Somebody's been getting that loot. Somebody's been going on that Kismet cash run. All right, so that costs you zero ammo. And you get rad roach meat, which we can cook and then maybe get double. Uh, and that's it. And if there's power armor in there, you grab a fusion core. Uh, we're off and running. Now, very often, uh, I am in first person when I am uh, actually uh, uh, attacking uh, mobs. Uh, but when I'm just running around doing this, this is all low-level stuff. 
Uh, it's not a it's not a worry any longer. Uh, once you get to the higher levels here, get this going on. There's so much uh, uh, razor grain here that you might get you know your fingers may get tired. Uh, so uh, I try to push the key real easy just to just to do it. There's a lot of e pressing right here. Again, notice they turn brown uh, when you've got them. Uh, and the great thing about doing it from third person is you can see whether, you know, did I get the stuff back there? Did I get the stuff here? And this is like a speed cash run. And eventually we'll do the same thing in WoW. I don't even remember my cash runs in WoW, so we'll need to, uh, 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 you know, reestablish what our cash runs are. Uh, but we'll start working on all cash and all that stuff. Right now we're just going on the journey. Oh, and there's that overburden. You knew it was coming. And we're going to do a little comparison today, too. Whether we should craft up our stuff uh, and uh, get double, potentially double. It do, it, is that more uh, valuable than just selling the razor grain or not? Uh, and there we go. I think we got it all very nice. And, of course, we're not using our fusion cords because we're running around. Uh, you know what also I'm going to do? I'm going to go ahead. Uh, I'm going to do a level up another day. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take some of my stuff out here. Uh, so that I can use my uh, strong back. There we go. And that should take me not overburdened any longer. There we go. And also, by the way, the backpack actually does give you additional weight. So, pretty cool. Uh, there you go. Uh, what's your favorite weapon in 76? I like uh, the shotgun. It's because, not because it's the best weapon or the most uh, damage level weapon. It's because it's my style of weapon. Uh, its biggest plus is the fact that I can cripple mobs, right? So say we're running around the White Spring, right? Uh, before they nerfed it. Uh, and we're running around and we're getting 40 to 70 legendaries. Running around the White Spring, running around the Sprite Spring, having a great time. And not only am I getting it, but of course my team's getting it and all the other people. We've had more than half the server just running around the White Spring many times. Uh, and everybody's getting legendaries because here's what I do. I use my shotgun. I disable them because their biggest attack, uh, most mobs' biggest attack, like ghouls uh, and other things like that, is that rush. They come at you. Same thing with the Saltrons and things like that. But if you could cripple them, boom, they're on the ground. You just shoot them from far away because they have no ranged weapons, right? A lot of ghouls do not. Uh, Scorch do, but uh, ghouls do not. Uh, so they'll be on the ground and they're basically pacified. There's nothing they can do. Same thing with the Saltron. Boom, pacified. Right, and you can just shoot them from far away, or your melees can run up there and just wipe them out. Uh, so everybody can get a hit, which means everybody's getting those 40 to 70 legendaries. Uh, we hooked up a lot of people, even random people we didn't even know uh, in the wasteland. We let them get a hit on all the mobs, then we kill the mobs, then they walk away with five to six days worth of loot that they have to sell to the vendor. I mean, that they got to spend you know days just selling stuff to the vendor. It takes it takes a lot of effort just to get rid of that stuff. We have so much stuff. Uh, all right, so there we go. So that was a quick little farm run. So that's the Sylvia Homestead. Now you can do this at like a level three or four or five, really low level, uh, and get yourself five, six hundred caps, and then you can go ahead and get yourself started in the wasteland. I feel like it's one of the best places to get started. Like when you come down uh, from seventy six, is to run to, to Flatwoods, of course, and get you know your kind of starter stuff. And the whole starter zone is like right here, right? This is the starter zone that you can't even you can't even nuke that starter zone. Uh, it's all blocked. Uh, so, uh, you want to kind of get down into Flatwoods, and then you kind of want to go south down in here, get down to Sylvia Homestead. This part right here, uh, is fairly good. Uh, make sure not to go down too far, though, because this starts getting tougher down here. Uh, but right here, this whole kind of left side over here is all beginning quests. Even though it starts to send you over this way very early on in the, uh, main quest line, I would avoid that. I would go more over here, uh, and explore all that left side of the map. Uh, first now there's places where I even I haven't been yet right there's places that we still need to explore on the map Which is a lot of fun. I like to leave stuff always for me to do uh, In game because you're like, oh, what do I want to do today? You know what? I'm gonna go explore those places. I haven't been yet, right? Uh, I always like to leave that uh, uh, To the imagination uh, So let's go ahead and travel back now and now it costs us a little bit to travel here uh, But our travel back to my camp, which is right next to the vendor. Look at this beautiful shot It's one of my favorite shots in the game right here uh, is uh, uh, is the fact that my it's right next to my vendor, which means it costs me nothing to jump back. Uh, so it's good to have your base early on next to your vendor. Now, I, this happens to be my favorite spot to put it because uh, 
uh, because it also has the water and all of that stuff uh, nearby uh, as a nice little place. Also, it's a great place for other people to be able to come in uh, and utilize my base. They added an atomic shop thing. Oh, but I'm, I'm, uh, don't don't go down that route, bro. Now trading. For don't, go, don't go down that road. Ammunition and uh, alrighty. Uh, let's see. Farmhand clothes, metal right leg, metal cocktail. Uh, let's see. And then here we go. Okay, so. Gives me a kill box going off out there. Uh, so let's see how much uh, it would be if we actually sold it directly. Requisitions uh, now. Mute. Uh, so this is going to be one each. So that'd be 120. And then we got uh, 216 razor grades. So that's uh, basically 336 that we just made. 336 caps. In just that little bit of amount of time. We could have done it faster if I wasn't standing around talking. Uh, but uh, three, uh, uh, 336 caps, which is pretty great. Uh, so we'll, we could put that in there. But let's go ahead and try this anyway. Now, it's going to eat up some of our other resources. So we're going to go in and we're going to make sure that we switch our perk uh, perks out over here uh, to uh, uh, Super Duper. There we go. Uh, and we're going to do that. And then we're going to try to uh, cook up some of this stuff. So we go in and we're going to say Q uh, to do that. And we're going to say uh, carrot soup or corn soup here. And we've got how much uh, wood and corn do we have? We, are, uh, we don't have probably enough wood to do all of this, but we'll do a, a good portion of it. Uh, let's go over here first. Uh, we're going to need to collect a bunch of uh, water, which just happens to be... Right here. Now, the thing about collecting water is you don't have to hold it down. You don't have to have any bottles, which I think is kind of a bummer. Uh, because I feel like you should have bottles. Uh, it should be a limit on what you can do here. Uh, but you're going to see here, I'm pressing the R key a lot. You can probably hear it. I'm pressing it a whole bunch. Now, I'm getting radiated, as you can see. Let me press it even faster. I'm pressing it a whole bunch. Now, you can't uh, sell it to the vendor. But what you can do is collect a whole lot of this. And we'll probably end up throwing this stuff away, too. Uh, but we need a whole lot to uh, convert it into uh, boil water. So we can convert this. So you got all this extra part you need to do. Literally, it'd be faster just to sell it to the vendor. But are we going to make more than uh, more than that? So let's see in the long run is it a smarter idea to do this and this is the first time i've tried this uh where i've done that all right that seems to be a good how many do we get let's see we're looking at dirty water we got 178 all right very nice uh we got radiated you're like ah kismet you're radiated now oh that's okay i just happen to have a radiation arch Boop. Boop. there we go radiation removed and you're like well kismet how are you going to heal there uh there's a, another great perk by the way uh, uh great uh charisma perk we can go ahead and take out Happy Go Lucky. Uh, let's say take out Lone Wanderer for right now. Uh, happy Camper. So hunger and thirst grow 80% slowly in the camp or team workshop. Uh, also, you have there's another one uh, that is for your camp. I gotta remember where it is. Uh, restore much more teams hunger. Uh, where is it? Uh, there is one that is. I don't know if I can't remember which one it's in. It's slow. I think it's in this. It's in endurance. Uh, let's see. Home body. There it is. Gain uh, improved health and limb regeneration while you're camp, uh, in your camp or workshop. And that's a two. Uh, so let's take slow metabolizer out and we'll put home body in. And then when I'm at my camp, notice it automatically heals me up. Right? So there you go. And you don't even need to use a stem pack. Or you can just go ahead and sleep in the bed. That works too. Uh, but let's go ahead and try this out. Let's see if this works. So we're going to go in uh, and uh, turn my sound back on uh, and make some food. Hit Q. Uh, and let's see, how many can we make? Uh, oh, we got to use concrete on razor grain flour. I don't want to use that. Uh, let's see, 216, and we need to make a bunch of boiled water. All right, drinks. Uh, boiled water, here we go. Oh, we're only going to be able to make half of that. We're going to need a lot more boiled water. Oh, but look at that. Making double. Did you hear that noise? That means that I made double there. Why they don't have a slider for this? I have no idea. 
Chewie's saying something. What was that, Chewie? Oh, my button's not working. What was that, Chewie? Uh, your, your title didn't take. It still it says next stream tonight. Ah. Uh. Throw it in the chat again. Thanks for letting me know, Joey. Appreciate it. Uh, all right. right. Hmm. Showed it updated on my end, but I'll just take his word for it. Uh, appreciate him coming in. Let me know. Chewy backing me up. Chewy backing me up. Somebody's paying attention. Somebody's paying attention to the stream. Chewy, my uh, awesome mod. You'll get to meet him at TwitchCon if you're there. Uh, always backing me up. Always got Kismet. GG, bro. Got you back. Uh, I can't wait to hang out with them all again. You know, uh, I have, like, the best mods. I, you know, I really lucked out. Uh, and, uh, you know, I really appreciate them big time without getting all mushy. I'm going to get all emotional. Um, but, you know, it's really hard sometimes in life uh, to find great people uh, who will back you up every single day. And I really feel that about my mods, that they'll, you know, they got my back, right? And, you know, you never really know with people, right? If they're trying to, you know, manipulate you or trying to, uh, you know, uh, well, hey, you know, Kismet over here is a nice guy. Well, hey, you know what? I'm going to try to take advantage of him uh, and uh, get like a little chip on my shoulder. And, uh, you know, if he doesn't help me and all of that stuff, right? Uh, I've had that in the past where uh, people feel like entitled or something. I, I owe any, I owe everybody nothing. I owe, I answer to no one. I owe anybody nothing because uh, I do a lot of nice things for a lot of nice people and it literally bankrupts me every time. Uh, but then again, uh, if you're all about the money, then you, and that's why you don't have the friends, usually. I find when uh, when you're just focused on money and you're just uh, this singular, singular focused, uh, on just making money and do that stuff. A lot of you lose a lot of friends. Uh, you know, if you're just focused on one thing, like if you just play World of Warcraft all day, every day, you're going to start losing those connections with your friends. You're going to start losing that connection with your spouse and with your kids and whatever, uh, or your husband, wife, whatever, however it goes. I mean, hey, you know, that happens, you know, probably mostly to males, but it also happens to females as well. They get very obsessed with playing uh, games and whatnot. I try to find a good balance. Uh, there was a time in which I was obsessed way back when, uh, in the early days of WoW, man, I, I, I was playing like crazy. But then again, I also work like crazy uh, and then play the game like crazy. And it was just me and my wife, so or me and my girlfriend then. Uh, and then, you know, I wasn't ever going to get married. I wasn't ever going to have kids. I was, you know, that that wasn't even in the radar ever that I was ever going to do that. Uh, but then again, you know, you meet that special someone and then, you know, the, the lightning strikes uh, <laughs> like that. Uh, and then you go, hmm, I don't know, maybe with this person, maybe this, maybe with this special person, I might give up my, uh, my freedom for a while until they all grow up. Man, I can't wait to just do nothing. To just do nothing. And you're like, well, what kids, what do you mean do nothing? Do something that doesn't involve me running around fixing something every day, running my kids around, uh, you know, making sure they're doing okay. I was helping one of my daughters with her homework today, even though I was working on 10,000 things. She's like, Daddy, I, you know, I need help on this uh, problem. I'm like, okay. Uh, I always push away from the computer whenever my kids need help with their homework and stuff like that. Vitally important. Vitally important to take that time, uh, no matter what you got to do. Uh, to help them with their homework and whatnot along the way to invest that time because that's really all they want from you is just some of your time. Can we go on a bike ride? Uh, can we go and get some ice cream? Uh, can we go do this, that, and the other thing? Uh, I find that investing your time in your children is the best investment ever because uh, my kids are the best. I mean, they, they still have their moments and their frustrations and their stuff, but that's human beings, right? Your kids are going to be like that. And I, I was actually uh, uh, running around today too uh, and, uh, I was running into the, the, you, uh, the, my, uh, PO box. Uh, so I was running my PO box and whatnot. Cause, uh, you know, uh, sp uh, sponsors are sending me stuff to give to you guys for Twitch God. Uh, and there was a little girl in there, uh, in, in the uh, post office and, uh, basically, uh, uh, the uh, little girl was having like a little fit. She wanted her little binky and all of that, but it dropped on the ground. The mom couldn't give it to her because it was dirty. Uh, she grabbed it anyway, and the mom had to grab it back and all of that. Uh, when I was young, I'd be like, oh, people and their kids always up here. Because she was, you know, screaming and, you know, doing all this stuff. But when you're an adult and you have children, you have a huge empathy for other people. 
Uh, I feel like that's growing up is when you have empathy for other people. Uh, and then, you know, she's, you know, frustrated is probably her first child because she's looking at everybody, right, you know, in there because the child's being loud or whatnot. And then, you know, you could you can see all the people in the line, right? There's a whole bunch of people standing in line. Uh, the people with children were like, oh, she's so cute. And, you know, they have like this, you know, caring attitude and they weren't upset about it at all. And you can see all the self-entitled bastards <laughs> like I used to be when I was young thinking, People and their children, right? You know, doing that, uh, being complete jerks. Uh, oh, God. Uh, that, I just think of myself back and then. I was like, no, don't get those children. Don't get that baby next to me. You know, I don't want to have anything to do with no babies. Uh, and now it doesn't bother me at all. If so, The only thing that bothers me if you take your kids, really young children, to a movie. Don't do that. Don't do that. They should, they should be home with a babysitter or the grandparents or whoever. Uh, don't take a really small child in there. A child is not going to you know, be able to comprehend the movie or whatnot. Uh, so I, if you want to have a night out, definitely don't take, you know, like a, a one-year-old uh, to a uh, thing or a baby uh, to a uh, movie theater. That's the only thing. But, you know, it doesn't bother me anyway. Uh, just when you can't hear the movie, that's that's the bummer. But uh, watch out for that. But other than that, you know, if they're crying on a plane or if they're doing things, you got to think they're a child, right? They're a baby and they have all this pressure pressing in on their ears and uh, and all of that stuff for the first time, maybe on a plane, doesn't bother me at all. Doesn't bother me other kids, you, you know, acting bad or whatever. That's someone else's problem. It ain't my kids. <laughs> I don't have to deal with it. Uh, and so on. Uh, so let's keep going here. All right. So let's get in here. So we're making a whole bunch of drinks. We did a whole bunch of that. We definitely need more uh, stuff here. But look at that. We got a whole bunch of doubles. A uh, whole bunch of doubles. And we got to go in here and press a whole bunch of more buttons. Uh, in there. Let me get my sound back on again. R R R. All right, making that money. Let's make that money, everybody. Making them dollar bills, dollar bills. Uh, there we go. Tell it like it is. Yeah, I mean that's the way it is. When you get older, you have a a a, a huge, larger empathy for for other people. I feel like that's the 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 thing of youth, right? You can tell people they don't care about you. They don't care about other people. They only care about their personal inconvenience, right? And that's that's transitioning from an adult, uh, from a child to an adult. There's people who are 60, 70 years old who are still like that, right? Still in that uh, child stage who think it's all about them. The important thing to know about life is it's a giant joke on you. <laughs> and if you get the joke, you'll enjoy it a lot more. Uh, because believe me, uh, anybody who's had lots of jokes played on me by the... Uh, by the uh, powers that be, uh, it is certainly me, right? I uh, worked my entire career to get that epic job, and then, sorry, here you go. Here's some medical conditions you got to deal with every single day for the rest of your life. Oh, thanks for that. Appreciate it. Uh, not really. <laughs> I don't really appreciate it. Uh, all right, we made some more and run back. But then, you know, it makes you stronger, right? It makes you stronger when you got to dodge the Reaper. Uh, all right, more boil water. Definitely gonna run out of wood from this. Now this is burning a lot of my wood resources as well, so you gotta take that in count uh, in your cost uh, of producing all of this. But usually wood is probably the easiest thing to get. Wood and steel, you're getting a ton of that in game. Just run around and use it. You probably use more steel than wood. I feel like this is the the biggest use of wood right here is to make boil water. We're going to use it all up. Because it ain't doing us no good sitting in the bank doing nothing. Supersonic speed, go! Right now I'm getting tagged. Right now I'm getting tagged in game for uh, crafting too quickly. <laughs> Put a slider in there! So I don't have to push a button 247 times there. Uh, all right, that seems like enough. All right, let's go in here. Let's see how many we made. Stop. Oh. All right, mute that person. All right, let's see. Uh, we made a ton of them. Uh, where are they at? Right here, razor grade, 216. Uh, where's our? Oh, we didn't we didn't craft it yet. That was just that was just making the water. All right, let's go in. Let's make some soup. Uh, all right, what do we want to make here? Uh, let's see. Q. Uh, do you want to make the corn or yeah? See, that's gonna take wood too. So yeah, that was a bit of a fail because now we got all this boiled water that we can't do anything with. I should have done half and half. 
Uh, oh, well, uh, what's going to be worth more? That's value five. Corn soup is going to be value six. So let's go with that. So corn soup it is. Let's go. And we're going to have tons of boiled water on us that we're going to need to go buy and get a whole bunch more wood. So we can do this, but let's go see. Let's see if this corn soup actually equals more uh, than the raw corn itself. Uh, so there we go. And again, you got to consider that other cost of the wood. Uh, all right, let's see. Corn soup is 35. No, look, no, see, it says value one, even though it said value six when I was making it. Uh, let's see. So that costs 35. So I could have sold it for, uh, could have sold it for, uh, basically about that same cost just by straight up selling it. Right. So, so just straight up selling it is the, is the cheaper option. Takes less time. Uh, just like razor grain, 208. Boom. So don't bother uh, crafting up all of that stuff. Just straight up, just sell it to the vendor. Now, the thing you can't sell to the vendor is this water. Uh, what I'm going to do is use up some of this water, like so. There we go. And then some lucky person in the wasteland uh, is going to get a whole lot of water dropped right here. And you're like, Kismet, you're going to give that all away? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's going to drop it right here because it's going to weigh me down like nobody's business. Just like that. I don't, you know, it's just stuff to, to me. I don't worry about it. I don't, I don't worry about it. No, look at that. See that? I'm getting healed and radiation removal. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Uh, so again, we're going to go very light uh, here on 76, in about an hour. Uh, then we're going to play a whole bunch of WoW today. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and uh, go with that. Uh, maybe we'll get our level up in before we go. Uh, again, what I'm trying to do is just make a bunch of cash so we can raid later in the week. Uh, on Saturday, hopefully, we get the crew together uh, and get into some trouble. Uh, let's see. What were we trying to do here? Get the perk that shows the weakness of mobs. Oh, okay. What's uh? you guys remember what that perk is? Uh, pick a perk. Let's see. Which one shows the weakness of mobs? Got to remember the name of that one. Hmm. Hmm. Let's stand back on. Huh. Anybody remember the name of that sucker? It's going out of my head right now. I know I've seen it like a million times. I went past it. I might already have it. Let's see. Uh, what is the name of it? Uh, hey, Kesmet, you playing WoW Classic? Yeah, just a bit. And just a bit. Right after this, I'm going to just uh, find a perk, do that, and then do it. It's in Perception. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Let's go ahead and check it out. Uh, often I'll just go and look, but sometimes I'll just ask you guys directly. If I ask you directly, then it's okay to say it in the chat. Uh, what is the name of it here? Uh, exterminator, no. Crack shot, no. Concentrated fire, no. It's in perception, I believe. Okay, I'm in perception. I'm in there. Refractor. Skeet shooter. Don't see it. Shotgun. Master rifleman. Night eyes, long shot. Ooh, look at that. Look at that one. Ooh, for rifles. We use that for our rifle set. Uh, let's make a note of that. Uh, rifle set. Rifle set. Uh, uh, long shot. There we go. I don't see it in here. That doesn't mean it's not in there. Let's look around. Bandolier. Does anybody else find it? Uh... Awareness. Ah, I knew Alpac would know. Alpac is, has a great memory that I used to have before I got sleep apnea and vertigo. Uh, let's see. Awareness. I'm sure it's not going to be in order because that would be just too darn easy, right? That would be too darn easy if it was actually in alphabetical order. Let's go all the way to the end. Let's do these. See how these are not in order? Anti-epidemic. Your disease cures have 50% chance to cure a disease on a nearby teammate. Ooh, that's a good one. Back to that one. Uh, let's see. Wasteland Whisperer. Vaccinated. Now, what line is it in? Well, hashtag Wild Classic. Yeah, we're going to play in just a moment. Hang out. We'll have some fun. Uh, hey, Kesmet, have you done that new Vault ad stuff? I haven't played uh, since the whole Nuclear Winter came out. Spike! The new vault uh, run is an absolute home run. Big congrats to Bethesda. It is an absolute boom out of the park. We had so much fun. Not only did we do the novice mode, but we did the standard mode. 
Uh, and uh, sadly, Jeff got knocked offline. Uh, I would have loved him to be there to finish it. But we three-manned the end of it, and we actually did it. We finished it in standard mode, and we three-manned the end. Of course, helped Jeff to help us in the beginning. But we lucked out on the time. We had like 10 minutes left. Uh, and then we lucked out on the rotation, and we actually got all the way to the end. Uh, and it's so incredibly fun uh, to do that raid. Uh, they did an exceptionally great job. Much love to them. Uh, they need a lot of home runs. They need to keep hitting those home runs. You know, like the perk system's a home run. The uh, the sound in this game is a home run. The legendary system is a home run, right? Where you trade in your legendaries, you can get more. Uh, oh, we forgot to do that. We got to do that real quick, too. Uh, as well as the... Uh, internet that day yeah uh no worries man we'll go we're gonna run you through maybe on saturday i'm, I'm saving up a bunch of uh ammo for everybody and build up caps and stuff which you already know i've been talking about all stream uh and then uh this week so and then uh sorry what was that it's a new uh raid this week well i know we gotta try it out we gotta try it out a weekly survival weapon is a two shot 50 cal that's uh Faster rate of fire and faster reload. Ooh, awesome! Ooh, awesome! Uh, so yeah, so and then uh, the uh, the the uh, uh, the the rating is is incredibly great, incredibly great. well done. Uh, so I would definitely check it out. Now, of course, you want to be part of our rating crew. Uh, let me know. We're gonna it changes. Uh, the uh, raids. So we're going to go in and try it out. Hopefully on Saturday, we'll see uh, what's new and uh, what's not. We'll probably just do it in novice mode uh, and then uh, run through there and get it done. Uh, it's kind of cool to learn the game mechanics. Uh, and then, of course, it'll probably rotate back around again. Uh, and then when we rotate back around to that raid, it'll be good. Uh, so what uh, is it? Perception. I just looked in perception. I didn't see it. Maybe I missed it. Oops, I went past it. Come on, you! Stop it! Why are these Why are these in the opposite order than they should be? Uh, what do you say it was? You said it was uh, perception awareness. Why do I not have it? It's not there. Not in perception. You like the raid outfit? You should come in, man. We crushed that one, man. We destroyed it. It was so fun. Uh, I don't see it in there. Uh, let's try. Uh, let's try something else. What? Where would that be? Oh uh, man. Let's just see. Cause the thing is not. It's not in alphabetical order. Let's just go down. All right. Here's the luck. I'm just gonna scan across there. Look for anything that says awareness. Don't see it there. Uh, what is this? This is agility. Uh, boy. Sneak through. Hmm. Darn it. What is the name of that darn perk? Not there. Not there. Man, I know I've seen it too. That's really that's really rough, right? That's really rough. I, I feel like that would be an endurance one, if anything. Uh, I can't remember what it is in Fallout 4. Ah. Check the chat. Uh, let's see. Per uh, awareness in perception. I don't see it showing up. Uh, nice. I need to get uh, get around a plane. Just been super busy lately. I know how to feel it. I know how to feel it. Uh, that or agility. I just checked agility. Uh, it's the first perception card. If you don't have it, you got to pick it. It's the first perception. I'm in perception. This is this is me picking a perk. It's not there. I'm picking a perk right now. It should show up. Unless I already got it. Let's go see if I already got it. Let me go out of here. Uh perception. Oh, I already got it. I forgot. They they take the ones out that you already got that are one stars now. So you can't even see it in there. So I already got it. Well that that's easy. Uh and I do have enough uh thing to actually use it. 
Uh, so that's why it doesn't show up. By the way, if you ever have that problem. Now, if you have, you go in, you get like uh, Aqua Boy or something like Travel Agent and you see that it doesn't show up, they actually changed that. They changed it now. So that's right. No, it's not that it's bugged. It's, they changed that. I saw that in the patch notes, uh, in the previous patch notes. They changed it where uh, certain ones like Perception Bobble, uh, Aqua Boy, Travel, you know, the ones that are just one stars, that once you get them, that you don't really need another one because they're just one star. Uh, because, you know, if they're going to be one star, there's no reason to get two one stars, right? Uh, so that comes out of there. So you don't accidentally get multiple of those, which is great. I like that. I'm not, I'm not going to take a, I'm not going to be upset about that at all. <laughs> all right. So we already got it. So GG, uh, we should probably put it on before I forget though, because I'm going to forget it. Uh, and then also we'll do, we'll figure out that other perk later. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, and then, uh, we'll put that on. And we'll go find out uh, find out target specific damage resistance in bats. So let's go try that out. Uh, or actually, we're gonna do uh, legendaries before I forget and move on here. Boom. Let's go over here. Let's do some legendaries real quick. Uh, now I I store up a lot of legendaries and I turn them in every single day as many as I can to build it up. Oh, Gary Host Gaming coming in. What's up? Thanks for being here in the stream. Uh, Anon coming in. Kids, you must already have it. There we go. Anon knows what. Uh, uh, Anon knows what I'm talking about. Uh, there we go. I just said that's very, it's very thing. Anon was paying attention to the patch notes as well. Uh, I can screenshot mine. Maybe it's bug. No, uh, yeah, they did change that, uh, in the patch notes. See, look, I, I knew something that some other people didn't know. Uh, cause I actually was paying attention there and amazingly remembered, uh, to those patch notes. Uh, all right. So let's go in here to the purveyor, uh, and get this going on. Now, I have 991 uh, legendary points. You got to get rid of those legendary points uh, as well. Now, these are on sale uh, for like 75 points the other day. The only problem is you get so many of these legendaries, then you can't trade them in. Then you, your inventory is full. Uh, the inventory full problem, I feel like if they could home run that, that that would bring, I'd say, a, a, you know probably 10, 20% uh, people to uh, back to the game. Uh, because I feel like that's the number one thing that turns people off in the game because it's that, you know, constant grind of ma micromanaging your stuff. Can't just do it like you do in all the other fallouts. Just throw it in the stash and deal with it later. Uh, all right, legendary range weapon. You know, I've already got a pretty decent weapon, but you know what? Let's just go for it, right? Let's just go. Oh, that was pretty nice. <coughs> decrease in the night, uh, or uh, increase in the night, uh, decrease in the day. 50% <coughs> limb damage. And bat action points. That's a decent one. What else are we going to get? Auto grenade launcher. That was actually a pretty nice one as well. 100% uh, uh, bats accuracy uh, if you're not in combat. Uh, at 50% AP cost, bashing damage 40%. Eh. That's an eh weapon. I know I'm not going to use that. I don't care what it is. Anti armor minigun. Uh, ignores 50% of the armor. Oh, that's a pretty decent weapon. Broad cider. I know I'm not going to use it. See, I know the second I get it, I'm not going to use it. Uh, animals. Uh, damage is this while aiming. Eh. 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 Uh, let's try a melee weapon too while we're at it before we run out. Oh, a super sledge. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like me a good super sledge. Uh, nice, nice. All right, so that was about 90 that we, we used up about 900 right there, and none of those weapons I really want to use. So I'm just literally go right back to the legendary vendor, and you get half of it back again. Uh, so I'm not going to use any of this, but normally that would be some really great weapon. I could sell it in the vendor if I want uh, to try to make some caps. Uh, but right now I feel like, uh, nah. Or maybe I will. Maybe I will. You know what? Let's go ahead and do that. Can we even travel? I think we can. Uh, let's go ahead and put our vendor out again. Well, actually, we're not going to really be, uh, in here. We're going to be in, wow. So, uh, I'll go ahead and put it in there, and there you go. Awesome. I'm jealous as well at the cat. Eh. Eh. See, I'm very specific in what weapons that I want. Uh, and, you know, at this, at this level, when you're level 160, you just grind and grind and grind and try to get that one special weapon. Like, right now, I've got my shotgun, which I really like. Uh, if I can get an explosive two-shot, uh shotgun i feel like that would be the ultimate uh weapon for me so if you happen to see one of those let me know 
Uh, but yeah, my current shotgun is uh, this one right here. You can see how I've got it specced on the right. Uh, but it uh, does more to Meyer Lurk. So that instance that we were in the other day is just awesome. Uh, bullets explode for area damage and 90% reduced weight. If I could get a two-shot, bullet explodes, uh, Meyer Lurks are bugs or scorched. And in fact, if I could get both, if I could have one scorched and one Meyer Lurks, uh, then that's what I would do. So if I could find one that was scorched with bullets and then a two-shot, uh, that would be uh, in, uh, incredible. Incredible. Uh, that sledge is awesome. You want it? You want it, Walt the Cat? I'll give it to you right now. Or another day. If you're if you're in game, I give it to you. Uh, that's how I am. You're like, well, Kesha, that's worth like five, ten thousand caps. You you just give that away to people? Yeah. I've given away stuff that's you know, ten, twenty thousand bloodied uh, items and whatnot like that. Uh, don't make stuff more important than your friends. More you no, know, they'll remember that forever. That one item that you gave them. Right? They'll remember it forever. They'll be like, Oh, cool, Kismet. If you want it, Walt the Cat, you let me know. I will literally save it for you. How about that? Uh, I don't know. Do you play on PC? Let me know in the chat. I will save that Super Sledge and give it to you. Absolutely. Absolutely. Just gears up. The uh, Wasteland Tycoon is like we're going to gear up our uh, crew today in WoW Classic. So that's it for today uh, on uh, some 76. So a little lighter on 76 today, uh, which is funny because that's the exact amount of people I have in my chat right now uh, is 76 peeps. Uh, going online to Xbox soon. Uh, uh, I'm not going to be on Xbox, uh, uh, this week, uh, because, uh, I think this week and next week, uh, because we're doing WoW Classic, but, uh, it, I'm on PC, sorry. Uh, wouldn't that be awesome if we could crossplay and I could just give it to you and you can get on Xbox and then get in the same world as me? I don't know. Uh, no PC. Oh, well, there you go, Walt the Cat. Well, I tried. I tried. All right, let's go to my overseer's office. It's time for some WoW Classic. Let's see if I'm still in the queue. <laughs> All right, now we might be transitioning to a uh, Q stream. Let's see how we're doing. You've been disconnected from the server. I was AFK too long. I feel like I'm now going to have to go right back in the queue again. Uh, so I was sitting in the queue the whole time in the background uh, doing that, but apparently it came up and I missed my chance at the high school dance. Uh, and I'm probably going to have to get in there again. Uh, why didn't it remember my server? Oh, but it's not. It doesn't say it's full. Nope. I went right into it. Awesome. Speaking of get right into it, uh, let me stop this recording. If you are watching this in the future, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell on YouTube. And then down below, put Walt the Cat's name in the comments down below so I know you watch all the way to the end of this video. And thanks so very, very much uh, for patronizing my YouTube. Sometimes I get comments. Nobody's watching your videos, Kismet. Well, I, I put them up there for you guys. So if you guys aren't watching them, I'm going to stop putting them up there because it literally cost me thousands of hours uh, to do that. But if you do watch them, Hit that button to encourage me to keep putting them up there. All right? Appreciate it. Hey, everybody. Kismet here. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button right in the center of the screen. Also, check me out live on twitch.tv slash kismet. I'll see you all next time.